Praise be Jesus Christ. I believe that every person, if he can, should learn how to ride a bicycle and should learn how to swim. And so too, I believe that every Christian, every Catholic, should learn how to pray the Jesus Prayer. Are you familiar with the Jesus Prayer? A common formulation of the Jesus Prayer is, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, a sinner. And it's meant to be repeated over and over again. Now, some people try to pray the Jesus Prayer like all the time. Others, like myself, pray the Jesus Prayer at certain times. For example, if I'm sick at night and I can't fall asleep, I'll pray the Jesus Prayer. And sometimes I'll breathe it. I'll say the first half as I inhale and the second half as I exhale. Some people, when they're in a jam, you know, they, they feel like they're under attack, they begin to pray calmly and peacefully the Jesus Prayer. Other times, you know, when we, when we really mess up and we know we need to go to confession, we know that we've, we've sinned against God, we feel awful, we pray the Jesus Prayer over and over again, calling on His mercy. Now, the Jesus Prayer became really popular among the monks in the East and it has spread to the Western Church. It's prayed universally now among Christians. But a lot of people don't realize that the Jesus Prayer has a biblical basis. I want to explain this to you. I'm giving a 45-minute talk in about four minutes, which is what I love to do on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to be talking fast. In Luke chapter 18, it begins by saying, Jesus told them a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. And then he tells the story of the woman who demanded justice from the unjust judge. And finally the judge says, listen, she's gonna drive me nuts, I'll grant her justice. And the Lord says, um, will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? So again, the Lord Jesus is calling us to call upon him day and night. And then it tells the story of the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector, same chapter. And it, the, the, the tax collector um, is the one who's at the back and he's just, he, he's praying, God be merciful to me, a sinner. And he's, he's repeating this and Jesus says, um, I tell you, the latter went home justified. Not the Pharisee who is praying to himself, thank you God that I'm not like the rest of all of humanity. So the Jesus prayer, it's a prayer of humility, repeatedly imploring the Lord's mercy upon ourselves. Now, Paul seems to call us to, to a similar practice of calling on the name of the Lord Jesus. We're very familiar um, in Romans chapter 11, Paul reminds us, which is from the Old Testament, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And he also says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And so it's this whole reality that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that he's Lord, but it's a gift from God to be able to um, proclaim that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. That's a grace. It's given to us by the Father. It's the Holy Spirit who allows us to say that Jesus is Lord, and we should say it often. We should say it without ceasing. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, Paul says, And no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. And so you see how Paul calling us to repeat the name of Jesus, calling on the name of Jesus because it's a gift of the Holy Spirit. In 1 John chapter 4, John says, Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. To say the Jesus prayer is a grace. It's a grace from the Holy Spirit. It saves us. God remains with us when we call humbly on the name of the Lord Jesus, when we implore his mercy, and as it says in Luke chapter 17, preceding the call to pray without ceasing, Jesus tells us that the kingdom of God is within. So call on the name of Jesus without ceasing and delight in the presence and the power that comes from this most holy name. Viva Cristo Rey.